Hello, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Uh, so, I've been working on this um, project that basically allows the user to be able to assess the chlorophyll content in lakes. And the reason as to why that is important, of course, is because of uh, monitoring the, phytoplan the phytoplankton that are present in most, um, well, they're mostly found in, in, in saline lakes, but uh, they can also be as well, uh, they, they can also be found in um, freshwater lakes and some of the disadvantages of having uh, phytoplankton in such lakes is the fact that um, they deprive the water of oxygen, which in turn end up killing the, 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 the fish and other organisms that exist in that water. So this is a project that has uh, taken some time, um, but it's finally able to I've finally I've finally be able to complete it. And yeah, so without further ado, um, well, it is okay. So first of all, it was it it is a uh, I took it up from uh, the project that I was doing for my final year. And um, but basically, I was working on Lake Nakuru, and I was trying to monitor uh, how the the lake size. Well, as of now, it's it's not uh, able to monitor the lake size uh, because I'm using Sentinel, and Sentinel data is only available since 2017. And so, yeah. So, but but basically, I've tried to expand it so that you uh, the user can be able to monitor any lake in the world any water body so i can go to ethiopia i can go to like any place whatsoever that has water body and the logic behind that i'll get into it in a, in a few but just to demonstrate what um this project does i'm going to go to um ethiopia speaking of ethiopia and uh there is a there's a lake right here um on the border of Djibouti and Ethiopia if this thing's going to load so it's called Lake Abhe I don't know if I spot that right, uh, right. but if I can just select like let's say a year so I'm gonna select 2019 so and then like you have to draw a polygon sorry I, I tried to add this functionality where it compares like to um, but I haven't quite gotten to, to do that yet so you just draw a polygon over that area, a rectangle. And if you click run, it will assess the chlorophyll content in that lake. And take a look at this. It's able to display, and there's also a legend, the chlorophyll, um, the NDCI. I'm using NDCI. If you guys are familiar with NDCI, NDCI is only, it uses the red edge band and the red band, band five and band four. And so it, it's able to give you this um, visualization. So yeah, so like Lake up here is, is it's a saline lake. And as you can see here from the graph, it has quite um, some uh, high value. Well, it, it's not that high, 0 0.2, but it, it, it does, um, well, it's it's flu fluctuation. It's fluctuating, sorry. And so, yeah. So, but but maybe to demonstrate with a lake that actually has um, high cl uh, contents of chlorophyll. There's a lake in in Kenya. I, I, I'm led actually to believe that it's one of the most um, chlorophyll-filled lakes in the world. So right here, Lake Elementaita. It's only a 30 minutes drive from Lake Nakuru. And so maybe if I can select 2019, draw ROI, I come here and draw it over there. And as you can see, it's loading. And um, maybe we'll get to, and there we go. So as you can see right here, we have like some pretty high values of um, chlorophyll. So yeah, and for this, it's using, um, and you can see as well, like the visualization. Um, yeah so 
the logic behind this, uh, the reason I saw you're able to see this, because even if, if, if I zoom out, even if there are other lakes within the region, you're, you're it's only going to be able to like display for like Nakuru and uh, like Yuki. So the first thing maybe uh, how this app works is that it uses the bounds of the screen. So you have to be able to like, to make sure that the, the lake that you want to visualize is in your, in like the, your screen bounds. Uh, that that's how it's able to, uh, to to pick up on uh, the lakes, and then uh, like it filters it using a mask that I have specified. And as you can see, also like um, there are some parts that it might not like work uh, as you expect it to, but that's just a bit of um, uh, something that can be worked around. So it's it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, um, tell me how you guys think of this. Um, it's something that has really, really, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, it has taken quite some time to go like to create, to create any something that I'm actually quite proud of. And maybe just to demonstrate, uh, one more, one last time, maybe I can go to US and maybe like Canada. Uh, Canada has a lot of lakes, I should realize that. So uh, maybe if I can find a lake. Hmm. It can be any any water body basically. So any of this, uh, but one of the limitations maybe I should mention is that is the fact that um, with, with Google Ad Engine, of course, there's the computational power. So you, you I'd advise against like selecting um, a large area. I don't know how I'm gonna because because I'd really li li like to maybe share this application and you get oh Salt Lake. Okay, this looks interesting. So. Let's have a look and I can select any year. So like, as you can see, like I can select any year and it, uh, if I can come here and just have to click draw a row, I click run, so it's generating a chart. And as you can see right here, this is, this is what I'm talking about. Like the, the, the area, the, um, it has like a maximum pixels. Well, you, you can tweak that so that you're able to get like even higher values, but then again, to like strain your, your machine. So if you can, if you have a powerful machine, well, and good, you can tweak that and allow it to even compute for larger water bodies. But as for now, I'm just gonna have to maybe draw a smaller portion that my that works as well as you can see like this part um so i can click run and yeah so this is this is what we have so this is salt salt lake yeah so, so tell me how you guys think of that and as you can see i have a bit of an error right here but i think that's nothing to worry about so yeah Tell me what you guys think of this.